The first group or um, structure we're going to target is on, on the back side of the leg. It's the calf group. And the calf group consists of uh, basically two important structures. The superficial muscle or the larger muscle, which is called the gastrocnevius, or what we typically think is the calf muscle. That's kind of involved both in power development in the golf swing and also posture. And then the deeper structure, or what we call the soleus muscle. And that, that structure is definitely more important as we relate to posture and, and holding and controlling uh, positions of posture. So what we're going to do is we're going to actually use our nylon stretch rope, okay, our stretch strap, and I'm going to come down onto the mat and give you a demonstration. What you're going to do for the first part is you're going to have one leg bent, and then you're going to have one leg stra straight. We're going to put the nylon strap over the foot. Okay. What you want to do is lie back, keeping this leg straight, and we're going to target the tissue that kind of goes behind the leg, attaches to the, to the, uh, to the foot and the heel, and then also goes above, um, above the knee joint and intertwines. And you, many of you may look at this and think like we're stretching what you would typically think is a hamstring type exercise. But uh, um, you're going to feel it if you kind of follow this routine specifically uh, that it really targets your calf group. Okay? So what you're going to do is you're going to lie back. You're going to find the position where your knee wants to start bending. Okay, for me, I'm able to get my leg up to about 90 degrees. So I can actually stretch in this position, which I like to see about 15 degrees of motion at that ankle joint. So you can see kind of going through. What many of you may find is as you come up, that knee may want to bend. So what you got to do is you actually got to work kind of below where it starts to want to bend. So you can actually target that full range of motion at the ankle as you go through this exercise. Okay. So in my case, I'm able to kind of move up to a 90 degree position. I'm going to put my hand right at the knee just to remind me to keep that knee straight. And now we're going to work through that full range of motion. Okay, and notice I'm actually not even holding onto the rope, uh, the nylon strap here. I'm going through that full range of motion. Only at the end, I'm applying a little bit of an overpressure. That's the stretch or the assisted stretching component. I'm actually using a contraction of the front of my calf or front of my leg to release the calf muscle. Okay, so I'm using what's called your anterior tibialis muscle okay, to bend my, bend my ankle. Okay, and we're going to repeat that for six to eight repetitions, holding for a couple seconds. Okay, because this muscle kind of works, it's uh, you know, on three dimensions. You also got to consider the other parts of the other segments of the belly. Okay, and we're going to work with a pull more on a diagonal. So now you can see I'm kind of pulling more to the outside. Okay, and then more onto the inside. And I could really feel this more on the inside, and then this a little bit more on the outside. Okay, and targeting that structure. Okay, for me, six to eight repetitions, I feel like I got full length or range of motion. I really feel like I have a good movement at that ankle, and now I can kind of come back up to a sitting position, take that strap right off. I'm going to straighten my other leg, keep this one bent. Now we're going to look at about 90 degrees bend, and we're going to tar target now that deeper structure, that soleus muscle, the one that's more involved in, in postural control in the golf swing. And what you're going to use is the uh, palms of your hands, your fingers, right over the balls, ball of your foot, keeping that knee at 90 degrees. You're actually going to go through that full range of motion. You're going to apply an overstretch for a couple seconds. And you should feel this in the lower part and deeper part of the calf. Again, a couple seconds with the hold, and then relax. Again, I'm using the front part of the leg. The muscle's kind of opposite to the deep part of the calf to contract and bend my ankle, and then releasing. So the next part is we're going to bend this heel up as far as we can, bending the knee, maximizing the knee bend or flexion of the knee. And we're going to target, now you're going to feel this right off your heel as the lower part of the calf, or what we would call the Achilles tendon, attaches to the, the heel bone or the calcaneus. Okay. After about six to eight repetitions, I feel like I got full length. I'm getting at least 15 degrees of that ankle bend. And I think this is a, a great way to target mobility of, of, of the back of the leg, specifically the calf group, both the superficial or the gastroc and the deep structure of the soleus. And I think they're essential muscles to target in your golf swing. They're often forgotten. Most people are thinking about the muscles that connect more to their back, their hip. Um, 
you know, when they're thinking about flexibility programs. But I think this will really help you to maintain your posture in your golf swing.